The Ghost in the Invisible Bikini, 1966, directed by Don Weiss, starring Boris Karloff, Tommy Kirk, and Deborah Wally. A recently deceased millionaire must do a good deed to get into heaven. Will he succeed in getting his inheritance to a worthy person, or will his scheming lawyer and his fiendish crew reap the benefits? This film looks and feels like an episode of Adam West's Batman, and that's no coincidence. Director Don Weiss actually directed four of the episodes in the 1966 series. It's also packed with bizarre characters. A scheming lawyer, the titular ghost in the invisible bikini, an entire party of beachgoers, a surf band, an uncomfortably racist Native American stereotype, a motorcycle gang, a murderous daughter, a gorilla, and more. Nancy Sinatra is also in this film. Interestingly enough, Boris Karloff and Susan Hart's characters weren't in the original version of the script. They were actually added afterwards by the producers due to their dissatisfaction with the original cut. This film features multiple musical numbers. The songs are pretty catchy, too. Miraculously, the band is able to play music without having their instruments plugged in. Or without actually hitting any drums. This movie successfully blends a haunted house film, slapstick comedy, and a beach party film in an impressively organic way, especially given the inherent disparity of those genres. It's also consistently entertaining throughout, with no scenes drawn out to pad out the runtime. It's never really explained what Karloff's character did when he was alive. But he was a millionaire with a torture chamber in his basement, so there's that. Verdict recommended. A delightfully campy film with an enjoyable soundtrack. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time another thrilling low-budget adventure.